This next question comes from Graham in London, England. You've predicted a silver breakout, but the gold to silver ratio is currently about 1 to 45. So silver is already historically high relative to gold. What caused silver to soar relative to gold between August 2010 and May 2011? Also, do you think silver is now going to rise relative to gold? Well, silver is not historically high relative to gold by any stretch. I think it's historically cheap. Uh, the If you just look at the last 10 years, yes, I mean, silver is not as cheap as it was, although the ratio has come back in gold's favor uh, in the recent month uh, with the big sell-off in silver. And, of course, as the market has sold off, based on fears of a slowing global economy, uh, that has hurt silver because silver has some industrial properties to it that gold does not have. Gold is more of a pure monetary metal, and when people are nervous and we're running out of safe havens because the Swiss National Bank or the Bank of Japan are intervening to, to undermine their, the safe haven appeal of their currencies, you know, gold is the last man standing. So gold has done very well. I expect silver to regain a lot of the ground that it lost against gold. So I think silver's a good buy. I think platinum's a good buy. I think gold has kind of really gotten ahead of other metals uh, in the last couple of weeks. I think that's something that people should look to exploit in, in, in picking up some of these other metals. I don't necessarily think it's going to be gold coming down at this point. I think it's going to be silver or platinum maybe take, making a bigger move to catch up with the price of gold, because I think the, the gold chart, in my opinion, I think gold is broken out. And I think there are a lot of people who are looking for a big pullback. I don't think they're going to get that lucky. There are a lot of people calling a bubble now again. Uh, and uh, again, you know, I don't see the bubble in gold. I see it in treasuries. I see it in the dollar, uh, but not in gold. And I think there are people now that are waking up to the fact that gold is the real safe haven, but hardly anybody. I mean, most of the safe haven money is still flowing into U.S. Treasuries, believe it or not. I think the smart money is going into gold, the dumb money is going into Treasuries. But as the dumb money wises up and more and more starts to look for a real safe haven, just imagine how much higher gold or silver could go in an environment where the people who are currently buying Treasuries figure out that there is no safety in treasuries, and instead realize that the only safety lies in real tangible uh, assets or real money, gold or silver, and I think that we're going to see an even uh, faster rise in, in, in metals than we're seeing now. And eventually I expect the mining stocks to participate, because so far they're not. I mean, they're not really going down, so they're outperforming the stock market, and that the stock market's going way down and gold stocks are not. But you're not seeing big rises in gold stocks. And again, that kind of validates my view that gold is not a bubble or a speculative mania. Because if that were true, you would also see the action in the metal stocks, the mining stocks. There would be a lot more speculative money there in those stocks. And the fact that it's not happening shows to me that you have a lot more fear than greed in the market for gold stocks, which is not indicative of a bubble uh, by any stretch.